Basically, these are flawed, deceptive, or false arguments that can be proven wrong with reasoning. The first one I want to look at I see in a lot of TikTok comments, and it's called ad hominem. An example of this is when I'm explaining to someone that the mRNA vaccines are gene-based therapy, CRISPR research, human reverse transcriptase, and they say something like, shut up, you're an anti-vaxxer quack on TikTok, you learned everything from Facebook memes. Ad hominem is when someone attacks the character, motive, or some other attribute of the person making an argument rather than attacking the substance of the argument itself. The person then concludes that the attack refutes the argument. It's often impossible to move forward with respectful discussion from this point, but it's sometimes possible. I'll use a few different strategies. First, I'll explain the logical fallacy, but assure them they're right. They shouldn't blindly trust me or anything they see or hear on the internet. And I also remind them I only encourage them to learn about something new for themselves so they can make informed decisions. I'm not even saying they have to learn from any specific source or make any particular decision. I'm just saying it's in their best interest to learn as much about it as they can. For some academics, this works, and we can move forward discussing data, but for others, they won't take anything I say seriously because they say, I'm not an expert. This is another logical fallacy, and it's referred to as an argument of authority or appeal to authority. It's when a person's authority on a subject is seen as evidence in support of their argument. It's based on the idea that a person should conform to the opinion of a perceived authority. Researchers say this fallacy is rooted in psychological cognitive bias, such as the Ash effect. Interestingly, in repeated and modified instances of the Ash conformity experiments, it was found that high-status individuals create a stronger likelihood of a subject agreeing with an obviously false conclusion, despite the subject normally being able to clearly see that that answer was incorrect. So, how do you handle this fallacy? In most circumstances, you want to remind the person of their own intellectual capacities. I assure them they don't need to have a PhD to read and learn about mRNA, CRISPR, human reverse transcriptase. It's okay for them to look up that information and explore it respectfully with their peers. There are no rules or requirements when it comes to picking up a book or a scientific journal and learning. But if this still doesn't work to move the discussion forward, I personally will give in to their appeal to authority and explain I have a graduate degree focused in epigenetics and psychoneuroimmunology. I taught undergrad biopsychology. Basically, that means I'm considered to have expert understanding of all biological systems and all of their many integrations. At this point, their responses often stop abruptly, and my hope is that they're now off learning about mRNA, CRISPR research, and human reverse transcriptase. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, to my TED Talk.